Watch your mind! We're growing fish here! Flippin' heck. You scuff the paint on the outside. I'm gonna have to repaint that. Hello, everybody! Welcome back to City Skylines with me, Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me today. We are gonna take a look at getting some more fishy stuff into our city. Uh, looking forward to that. We might get onto the trash as well, the new stuff added by the Sunset Harbour DLC, but we shall see, and I've got some interesting plans for that. Thank you for all the support on the last episode. Really, really appreciate that. I know you guys and girls are all loving the Sunset Harbour stuff. So am I. I'm, I'm enjoying taking my time going through and really getting into the nitty-gritty of, uh, of what it all adds. And this Metropolitan Airport is absolutely humming. I mean, look at the amount of people that are coming and going, that are using the helicopters. They're just queued up. Look at them. For days, there's so many of them. I've had to add absolutely tons of helicopters. You probably start seeing a helicopter jam uh, building up here. We've got planes buzzing in and out all of the time. And let's take a look at the metro inside. If we go into this view here. Yeah, there's people under there. What I've just done between episodes is I've just gone through all of my transport options. I will show you on my buses what I've done, just on one line, and then you can do it in your own cities. You may have heard me talk of this before, is to check your lines from time to time and see how many people you've got waiting at your stops and whether you need to add or remove any vehicles. And I've gone through all of my lines. I've even, because my metro is being used so much, had to push my metro budget up to 140%. People love that metro. Uh, by the way, these little dots here, the smart budget mod, which just stops you having to come in all the time and adjust your water and the electricity up and down. So, yeah, I like that. But, yeah, that has been working really, really well. That is a good way to um, save some money if you don't need to have, for instance, trains. Some of my train lines only have one or two vehicles now. Uh, some of my metro has, let's just sort it by vehicles, 10, 9, 8, 7, lots of vehicles. And still, I could probably do with more. Look, there's so many people waiting at some of these stops. It's just nuts. Where's that? Over here, like and subscribe. So I probably could even up that even more. But for now, we'll just go with that. I've literally just done it. We're almost back up to 80,000 again. 76,000 we're closing in on. So the fixes we did in the last episode have worked, which is great. Uh, deaths, births a week 289, deaths a week 189. We rode out the storm, which was fantastic. And our death care and our child care. Sorry, child care and elder care. Child care is now 289 a week. Was it 101 a week? I can't remember, but we added in the uh, child care, the new child care items. And our lifespan is now 86 years. It is slowly, slowly creeping up, which is good. And that was using these two items here. Check the last episode if you missed that. So today, I want to have a look at the new fishing stuff and get this going. And as soon as you turn on the fishing tab, you get this little legend pop up over here, which tells you all the different sorts of fish available in your cities. Now, from what I can tell, collecting these different fish makes no difference at all whatsoever to any other buildings, any of your industries it really doesn't make any difference at all so it is a visual thing more than anything else um, i have no tuna on the entire map and the way that the different fish is made is to do with depth of water and speed of water flow so we here it's pretty deep i could probably show you that if we go into this one yeah there we go look you can sort of see the outline here it's pretty deep down there so that's why we all had what was that there shellfish lots of shellfish and here we have, this is salmon, even though that pink is different from that pink, that's salmon. And then anchovy is the main one that you get. What I would like to do is back over here. There we go. I like to use this mod. Ultimate eye candy. Whoosh, the sun has moved in the sky. So we can see here that we get a lot of salmon going up this little uh, river through here. And then some anchovy all the way up there. I'd like to just set up or see if I can set up a little fishing um fishing harbor here and then we can connect that road to over there i want to see whether it is possible to have that running up that little river there and if it can i think that'd be quite cool so let's just join that up there let's make sure they have electricity and water fish bash bosh and then 
we have got to put in our line. So we have a fishing route. Now, when you create your fishing route, just be careful because you can create it outside of squares that you own. As you can see here, it's still green, even though I don't own that square. Um, but you can't delete it if it's outside the square that you own. So watch out for that. Um, there is going to be an optimal length of your lines. And you don't want them going further than they need to. Because that would obviously take longer to do that. Yeah, we can go up here by the look of it. Well, let's see how far we can get. I want to avoid all the bridges and things if possible. So if we do that and sort of turn back round again. Can I hook it up to there? Invalid shape, invalid shape. No, okay, you've got to... Got to continue it yourself. And I don't know whether that is going to be too far. I thought you'd hook it up to the same line. But you've obviously got an in and an out. There we go. So the route is set. So now this guy should pop out a fishing boat at any moment and go off to fish. Hey, there it is. Look at that. Let's just pause and we'll follow this guy up the river here. Our fishing boat. So as you can see, he's loading uh, anchovy or catching anchovy, which is here. And then that's the same all the way around. He's going out that side. Okay, so when we get here under the bridge, we'll notice that it will change. Let's click back on there again. From anchovy to the other, whatever it was. So let's just speed up here and bob. They're only small as well, so they will fit very nicely under our bridges. There we go. Nicely under that bridge. This one here might be a touch too low. Let's just wait until he get. Yeah, he's going to look. He's going to break his mast. Whoa, that's not good. So we need to up crunch. OK, let's just pause there a second. We need to up uh, this a bit. So I'm going to use the move it mod. Uh, hold shift. That one, that one and that one. Let's go down like this, and then I'm going to do page up, just so you get enough clearance there. Just check either end. That's not too steep. That's okay. I'm going to shift that over a bit instead. There we go, because why not? And then he should be able to fit under that one. Yeah, so what's he getting now? Oh, now he's 100% full. Ah, oh, okay. Well, there we go. So he really doesn't need to go that far up there, does he? So let's get rid of all of that. And in fact, he probably doesn't even need to come that far up here. And I reckon that would be perfectly adequate. There we go. For our ships. Whoa, whenever. I hate it when that happens. Are we still, we still good? We're still good, yeah. So let's watch this guy and see where he gets 100. Yeah, look, this one's turned around. Let's have a look. 76, 77. This is what we want to see. And hopefully he's going to get... 100% and he's going to just then be almost home. Okay, 100%. Ideally, I want to remove that much line from here. We're, we're losing fish here. These boats are going to disappear, I think. I reckon we could even do it there. I reckon that would be enough and that would give us 100%. So I'm going to watch this guy now. But he's just come out. He's going to take the new route. Oh, it's so close. Look at that. 99, 100. There we go. So we can even shave off a teeny tiny bit more. I'm, I'm determined to get this to be pretty much 100% as soon as you come home. Right, this will be the one I'm going to watch now. Oh, here we go. 98, 99, 100, and then in. Ah, uh, I think that's perfect. There we go. So that is as long as you need it. I mean, you could obviously do it any shape that you like. Um, but yeah, that works really well. So that is sending out uh, freight trucks in use. It hasn't got any yet. Route efficiency, 100%. I, as far as I know, you don't go over 100%. So you can't sort of have 120% and get extra fish. That is literally it. Um, just wondering whether there's a budget for fishing stuff. I'm pretty sure that will just come under industry anyway. So what will happen is, I believe, is when this fills up, then they will send out their fish. And they will send them out to... Let's have a look on here. We have a couple of options. Oh, this is the um, fish farm, which is a bit different from this. It grows and catches fish uh, like that with one of these little farm things. Just like a house here. What is this? Oh, it's a child healthcare center. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> right by the fishing industry. Let's do it like that. Connect the road up. Excellent. And that'll do. That's fine. Like that. So here, you actually get these little 
uh, outside fish things that basically just have more fish. They just grow over time. That's how they work. So there you go. Growth stage, one out of five. That'll go up when it's five out of five. I believe it then all fills up with fish. Uh, that holds 40 tons. This holds 32 tons. And we've already had a fishy van go out. Can we spot him going up the road? Oh, no. I I've missed him. So that's going to keep getting our fish for us. And then what we can do is we can send it off to a fish market. So you cannot store the fish in any of the... Oh, auto save, quick sip of tea. You cannot save the fish in any of the warehouses that come with the industry DLC. This is entirely separate from the industry DLC. What you can do, if you put a fish factory down, it will turn your fish into commercial goods. So you see that little... Uh, symbol up here on the top when I hover over here fish arrow commercial goods and you can store commercial goods in a warehouse to then be taken away but we are going to put a fish market um it gets work a little bit of noise pollution but the fish are sold directly to the people is there any sort of figures on there as to how many fish no it doesn't say so where would be a good spot for these fish items. Well, we've got these uh, buildings along here, but this sort of coastal area down here, I reckon we could squeeze in a little fish market somewhere for people to come along and buy their fish. Let us see. How big is it? Could I fit it in there? If I just repurpose that land a bit, I could. So let's get rid of that. I can go over there. What is this? Oh, the firehouse. Don't want to lose that. There we go, just going to increase that corner a little bit. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to grab one of these little teeny tiny roads. And we're going to have that come down here like this. There we go. And then we're going to pop a fish market. Oh, it's bigger than I thought. Um, well, if I do anarchy, pop that in, that will build the land up for us. And then I can just do a little bit of finessing, just sort of around the edge like that. And then I'm going to add a little bit extra at the corner because I'm going to use the smooth tool. Let's just turn down the strength on that. Oh, we're going to get water everywhere. Just smooth all that out. Yeah, you see you get that little corner section. So if you just sort of go out a bit further and give it a bit extra to smooth. Quick wipe over that. And we're fine. There we go. The water's disappeared. And now we have this little fish market. They can come here. They can buy their fish. It's right by the water's edge, which I think fits perfectly. And if you lived up in one of these buildings here, you get a fantastic view of whether there's any fish in stock. So you can run down and uh, buy your fish for the day. So let's have a look on here. Fish sold last week, zero tourists last week. So it's got a tourist attraction type thing attached to it as well, which is interesting. And you've got jobs being done there. So, oh, look, there you go. Look, there's one of the fishy vans. Look at this. Fish delivery. Right, let's just zoom in a bit and have a look at that. Fish delivery. So he's popped in here to drop off the fish. Thank you very much. Mind the tree. Yeah, look, they're all open. There was nobody in here yet, but yeah, you get the idea with that. Anyway, good. So we've started our fish industry. How's this doing here? Ah, oh, look, it's gone back to growth one. So it's already gone up through the, through the uh, growth stages. So what would also be interesting is whether we could fit in a fish factory in this little section here as well. Now, is that going to pollute the water where they're collecting the fish? It probably is. So I'm going to go up here, as far up in there as we can without messing with that. And can we pop it here? We should be able to. Yes. There we go. So all the pollution stays within that area. I wasn't even looking when I placed it going to go into the water a bit but over here so that's nowhere near these things do you mind we're growing fish here flipping heck you scuff the paint on the outside i'm gonna have to repaint that yeah so that pollution shouldn't affect any of this and we of course can check that with our pollution tab might just be ground pollution as opposed to water pollution. But yeah, if you've got pollution anywhere, like if it was if this was leaking into the water, our little route there wouldn't be any good. But this should be good. So that's going to turn fish into commercial zone products. And then what I'm going to do over here, just in case we make so many fish that we don't know what to do with it, we are going to get one of our little small warehouses. Uh, I think we need one that's sort of indoors. Yeah, this childcare centre, I'm beginning to think this isn't the best place for childcare. Um, I'm going to pop it down here. We're going to have your own little section right, right by the railway. 
We're going to do this. There we go. Let's move you. Just so some parents are turning off, dropping off their kitty winkies. There we go. Drop your kid. Look at that. I mean, could you think of a safer place to have your kids come and play? They're going to love looking at the railway lines outside the window. The smell of fish wafting across the playground. They are absolutely going to love it. Just don't play outside. That wouldn't be a good idea. Yeah, so we've moved that out of the way. So let us grab a uh, one of these. Oh, that's perfect. There we go. Very nice. And then we're going to set this to hold. Uh, we want it to be empty. But it will get used if this is selling too much. And there's not enough trucks to take it outside. They will go into here. And it's going to be making commercial zones goods. So there we go. See that little symbol there? The little blue, what's it's on there? That is what this one's going to be making. So those goods just count towards your normal commercial zone goods in your, in your city. So it's going to be interesting to see whether these two items can keep up with a fish factory, a fish market. Fish sold last week 40. And I've no idea how much money we're going to be making from that. It's all just put under industry as far as i can see there's no sort of breakdown there's no there's no other breakdown so we'll see how that goes now also worth keeping in mind back to our fishy tab here is there's other things to unlock so we need to get to 250,000 fish quarter of a million of any sorts of fish and then we can have an anchovy fishing harbor so you notice here this is just the fishing harbor watch the fish <sighs> This is this just a normal fishing harbour. You can have an anchovy fishing harbour, a salmon fishing harbour, a shellfish fishing harbour, and a tuna fishing harbour. I need a sip of water after all of that tongue twister. So what is this? Ah, this has got six freight truck counts. Upkeep, cars, workplace 26. So I'm assuming that's got 10. Workplace 28. I'm just trying to see what the major difference is. Extra little bit of workplace. Yeah, so it's got more trucks. So these have got 10 trucks. These have got 18 trucks, and they've got 24 trucks. So I'm assuming with the larger upkeep and all that sort of thing, but with the larger trucks, they're going to gather more. I think that's the point. Uh, with that one there we've done. We've also got algae farm. Algae can come up later as well because we do have a city-wide policy. We have an algae policy, algae-based water filtering, which will help with our water, uh, help with our sewage production. No. The way we deal with sewage in the city. Not going to be producing more sewage. We're going to be dealing with the sewage we've got. So that, that's quite handy to get that one. Um, and a seaweed farm as well. That just gives us seaweed. Yeah. A few little things to aim for. Um, but basically, once you've sort of set up some of these, it's just a case of leaving them running. You can have more than these if you want. And uh, yeah, they will keep on gathering the fish for you and unlock some other stuff. So we shall see how that goes, whether these people are going to love having the fish in their diet. Now, the other new item I want to take a quick look at as well is our new waste transfer facility and our waste processing complex. So the idea is, is you take this big polluting waste processing complex. You can see the big polluting line around that. Pop it outside your city out of the way. And then you have these waste transfer facilities that pollute a lot less. And they will go and collect your garbage, your trash, and will take it out to your processing complex, which will make some electricity, but get rid of all the trash. I think they will also take it from the recycling center and the landfill site. I'm pretty sure. Or actually, I think it just takes it from landfill sites. Yes, that is what's coming to my brain. I don't think we have any landfill sites. We've got some recycling and incineration plant there. Uh, we've got recycling center there. Um, that is just our water stuff. Another, what's that? A couple of incineration plants up there. And one, two, three, four recycling places there so what i'm thinking is this area over here has become a sort of de facto trash and power plant center it's outside the city enough i think we should make some space for the waste processing complex but it really needs to be a little bit further out and we don't own that square yet i don't want to use some seaside stuff i mean we've got there's nothing stopping us buying another square we could just purchase both of these let's purchase that one and that one 
spend our millions that we've got quite happily. And I reckon we should build it down here. So let us grab this road here. 68% traffic. I don't know what's going on with the traffic, you know. It, it goes up and down. Sometimes it's just the drop of a hat for no reason at all. I'm not even going to bother dealing with it today. Um, so we're going to have that there. And I want that sort of to curve round. Will it fit in that gap there? No, it's humongous, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Let's just go a little bit further with that. How much space are we going to need? Where is it? So that road is going to have to come across right almost at the end. All right, then. Well, let's do that then. Let's go there. Uh, I'm going to have that coming off the back road like that. Let's just take a look at that building. Do you know what? We could actually move that all a bit nearer so these roads line up. Let's use the move it mod for that, that, that 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 and this and we're going to shift it all over so it's exactly in that square like that there we go excellent oh that's still the move it mod there we go so pick up garbage from waste transfer facilities and landfill sites there we go i knew i'd read it somewhere so at the minute no trucks are going out because we have no landfill sites and we have no waste transfer facilities so let's maybe pop a couple of these around in this area let's keep the this tab open yes yeah, so we've got nothing in here the nearest oh yeah we've got these ones over here haven't we so let us actually remove some of these just thinking of the figures actually what sort of figures are we getting out of these so processing rate twenty four thousand a week uh the rate on these is two hundred and fifty thousand a week you can have 20 trucks come out of those 15 trucks come out of those so these are pretty good. So, okay, we're going to delete... Oh, and what's the price on these? Upkeep 240 a week. Upkeep 240 a week. They're going to go. Right, let's get rid of those. Whoops, did I just delete some road? I think I did. Uh, I'm going to get rid of these as well. Hold on, let me get the facts and figures on these. 1,440, 27... Yeah, we're going to get rid of these as well. Why not? Let's, let's go for the different thing. There we go. And let's put in this one then. Uh, there it is. Yeah, let's pop that. Let's pop that up against there. There we go. I'm going to connect that road. I don't know what else I deleted by mistake, if it was a road or what. Oh, there we go. There's the first garbage truck heading out. Oh, they look like proper garbage trucks as well. That is cool. I do like that. I'll tell you what we're going to do here as well, is we're going to just do... Thank you very much. Control click on there to get dedicated turning lanes, and we're going to make that a giveaway so these guys can keep going. So it'll be interesting to see... So we've got tons of garbage processing. That is not operating, it says. I reckon I might have messed that up with the move it mod. Let's pick it up and pop it down again. There we go. Unless this doesn't kick in until this has got some trash in. At the minute, 0%. Oh, he's going to this incineration over here. I didn't notice that. Oh, another one's going to get deleted. There we go. Yeah, so I reckon this isn't going to kick in until we've got some trash in there. So let's just... I'm going to keep an eye on that for a moment. Oh, oh, oh! Where's this garbage truck going? Waste transfer facility. Returning to facility. Why is he going the long way round? Oh, some garbage has just gone in. 8% full. Let's see what happens with this one here. One truck has come out. Where is it? Hang on. Oh, this is it. Waste transfer truck. Look at that. So we have a new truck model. He's going to go here, compressing the garbage, blocking everybody else up, and he's picked it all up. So now that is 0% full. Why is there so many of these that have come out? There was like a little bit of garbage, and they went, oh! send all the trucks out quick we've got to pick it all up there we go garbage reserves Forty thousand garbage fantastic so they send <laughs> they got a bit excited there 24 percent for that's fine so they can go out in a nice circle pick up the trash go all the way around and do all of that nice so that should hopefully keep everybody here happy I'm not even going to look at the traffic on that roundabout. And what we need to do is go around all the other places in our city and add even more of those and see whether we can set up our whole city to work on that. We're going to have to connect it to the highway as well because otherwise we're going to get all those garbage trucks coming through the middle there. But, yeah, 
yeah, I think that's a good start. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Well, I think that's a, yeah, a good start to our new trash and fish empire. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to check out the city fixing episodes that are on my channel. I have videos on pretty much every single thing you can think of in City Skyline. So have a look at all my playlists and leave a like as well if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't before. And I will see you all very soon for the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.